Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you like a full week of uh, exercises and workouts. So let's start with Monday. Here we have Monday and I separate my days with bent arm day, straight arm day and floor day. And this philosophy comes from Charles Poliquin and I first heard about this from Ido Portal. So on bent days I do exercises where I bend my arms and straight days I do stuff where my arms are straight. So like shrugs or like skin the cat or that type of exercises. But on bent days I do muscle ups where I bend my arms or pull ups or shin ups. That kind of exercises. And on floor days uh, I do exercises, I work on the floor, like L-sit or I do capoeira all that kind of stuff. But I'm not only doing uh, strength exercises, I'm also doing endurance exercises. So we have here, um, so on Tuesday, we got 60 minute uh, bike ride, and I also do walking. And I, I determined how much I'm gonna do the week before. So on the back side of this board, I have written how many hours I want to ride, how many hours I want to walk, how many hours I want to run, how many hours I want to rock climb, and how much time I want to spend on my strength, like on rings on the floor. So this side here is determined on my goals on the back side. So I have goals and, it, and this is like a breakdown from, from my big goals. So for uh, to Monday, a bent arm day, we have muscle ups, chin ups, pull-ups, one-arm pull-ups, we have dips, we have Korean dips, wide dips, and also doing bouldering. So the days we have climbing and uh, gymnastic rings. I do gyms, I do rings in the morning <coughs> and I do bouldering in the afternoon because I, I need at least three hours of rest between. And on Tuesday straight arm, so I do exercise where my arms are straight. So 20 skin the cat and I do arm swing. That is like alternating between left and right hand. So I'm like swinging like a monkey. And also do typewriters. I do rotation of my wrist, supination to pr pronation. And I do side leg raises for my core. And important here when you're doing these exercises, you no, know, I have very low volume. But I, I make the exercises so they are hard for me. So this is pretty much maxing my my strength. But and I never go to failure. So when I'm done, I don't feel like worked out. I still feel a little bit fresh because I really want to work that maximum strength. And I don't want to get any injuries. And on Wednesday we have a floor day. So we have, I'm doing L-sit, L-sit, like this. When you sit and, when you sit and hold your hands and you put up your legs and you form like an L with your body. And I have a tucked half planche and I have hamstring back raise. I do a piston squat. Uh, I do handstands with the leg raise. Oh, that's actually wrong. I do headstands with leg raise, leg raise, because I'm not actually strong enough to do handstand with leg raise. So I do hands headstand, and I also do 30 minute walk, which I just did because it's Wednesday today, and also gonna do 30 minute dynamic stretch today. And dynamic stretch is um, it's a form for me it. It's a form of capoeira movement. The dynamic means that you're moving. Static means that you're not moving. So we can take for here for on Friday. I have 20 minute static stretch. And I like to alternate between those just to keep it fun, you know, because I want to keep my exercise fun. I want to keep it interesting. Yeah, and on Sunday, that's like my rest day. So I do exercises, a lot of exercises to, to Sunday. Uh, I have 20 minute whips that's like throwing your body because it, uh, it makes it feel so good with my body and this was inspired by Ido Portal doing the whips uh, and also from martial arts 
I used to do karate when I was young and like when you're when you're hitting you're like you're like you're like whipping with your with your body to make it more powerful and more fast and also gonna do a 90 minute bike ride and I'm gonna do 10 minute rings and on th those 10 minutes that's more like playing around like testing new movements like and combinations and also gonna do a 60 minute locomotion and locomotion is like animal movement uh, you walk uh, like uh, movement on, on the floor so it can be the lizard walk it can be pelican walk it can be monkey walk so it's a lot of different uh, locomotion techniques and that's really helps with to strengthen my legs and to keep them agile and I also have here like extra and leftover so so it's Wednesday today and and I don't have the time or energy to do piston squats and then I put my piston squats on left over here so that I will do them on Thursday or Friday or Saturday preferably on Saturday <laughs> but what this does is that like I, ha I everything on my board I have to do this when the, when the week is ended but maybe on this day I feel a little bit tired so I save it on leftover and I do it when I, when I feel I have the energy enough to do it. And extra, I always put some stuff here. And if I feel one day that I've done everything like I, I should do, I have this extra I can take. So le yeah, let's do 10 Korean dips. You know, it's to keep it fun so I can challenge myself to keep extra and leftover. So we can see here on leftover I have six muscle ups. 10 minute balance, 5 minute stretch, and 5 minute, 50 minute balance. So I have a few here left over from, from these days. But, and, but usually, when a day is gone, I, I wipe it off. But now I, I didn't wipe it off because I want to show you like what I'm doing and how I'm building this. So if you want to build this, get like uh, broad goals on. Uh, <laughs> on your back so you don't have to have a board but get broad goals then you divide them down to goals that is more easy for you to like so you have a more broad picture like this like specific exercises and it is not very uh, like strict now because because I'm doing two weeks I want to evaluate my body I want to evaluate where my weaknesses are and strengths are and um, next week I'm gonna do like the gymnastic bodies program where you, you know, else it you do tests with else it and determines uh, how you can devel develop your else it because in the end you know I want to be able to do planches and front levels and stuff so that that's my ultimate goal yeah so if you have any questions that uh, just post them in the comment uh, section and i will try to answer them and uh, hope this was good for you uh, so so i do i do like high intensity strength training and i also do endurance training running cycling so stay strong guys love ya can still fulfill